It is a, a great experience to see someone deceiving you before your very eyes. And it was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the show. Um, I had high expectations and I think it actually exceeded that. Well, it's a terrific show. It's not too long, just over an hour. The Mayfair Hotel I thought was great. I mean, it's a really nice space. I've played in a lot of hotels myself doing corporate work. I've never seen a setup like that. It was just like a small theatre inside a hotel, like purpose built. It's wonderful. I never took my eyes off him, and I'm as sharp as a pin, but I could not find any ring, anywhere at all what he was doing. I couldn't, I couldn't work it out. I was watching him, I was watching his hands, his feet, and I was trying to see, was he trying to distract people and make them look away? And I think he had me, he had me 100%. Hook, line and sinker, I didn't have a clue how he did what he did. It was amazing. Uh, he even gave me the pack of cards that he did the blind uh, deal with. And uh, I sat down and immediately started feeling them to see if there was anything on them. And it's just a normal pack of cards. I just don't know. I really was bamboozled. I'm, I spent most of the show like that. Yeah, the big overhead camera. And it is a, it's beautifully done. I must admit, when the show first started, I was watching to see if the hands were the hands that were on the screen. And they were, they were. The, the tricks, or whatever they are, they get better and better as the show goes on. They get more and more sort of mesmerising and looking at it. And I only wish I knew how he did one. I think actually, as well as a good magician, he was actually quite funny as well. Quite a good storyteller, really setting the scene and giving you a bit of history into card cheats. The little stories and little video clips, I actually found was quite unique because you don't normally get that. And I, I found myself getting quite engrossed with a lot of the stories, you know. He just, just didn't do tricks. He explained the history. He showed you some of the books from the past. I think that made the whole show slightly different. It gave it, gave it a twist, which was, um, which was interesting. Yeah. Well, a trick where he seemed to be able to control every card in the deck was very impressive indeed. When he put all the cards back in, just the way they, the way they came out of the box, you know. I thought that was pretty good, yeah. I wanted to know more about his like special forces work. I wanted to know how come he's a magician and how come he's involved in card cheating. You can obviously see where he's learned to know about the psychology of what he's doing and the way he's built that into his act, whether he's distracting you or just drawing you into the magic of it, I don't know. But it's very good because I, I, I didn't see what was going on. I just saw the magic and I saw the end result and it was always 100% spot on. He's just not a sort of con artist or just a showman. He's actually at the cutting edge of some of these techniques, I think. So definitely a great kind of trip out for Christmas. I think whoever you bring to this would, would enjoy it. You know, whether it's your granny, you know, whether it's your little nephew, your sister, your brother, it doesn't matter. I think it appeals to all ages. You know, it was good, clean, good, very good magic, and uh, very impressive. I love the storyline as well, which made it all sort of more enjoyable. So I think it's 45 minutes of kind of, you know, fast-paced entertainment, but also it's a bit of history as well, which I think men and both women love. So I defy anyone to come and see Steve, to have the binoculars on, whatever they want, sit wherever they like, and try and find out what's going on. He's good, he's good, I'll come again.